Well, ladies and gentlemen, today is the day. Oh my goodness. I am waking up today feeling pretty goddamn good. Yesterday, I had a hangover and did not want to do what I'm about to do today because I was like, this is gonna ruin it and it is not gonna make it worthwhile. But today's the day, hangover free, I'm feeling fresh. The weather is somewhat looking like a rhino is about to come out of that car, but it is what it is. The bed is made because how are you supposed to take over the world if you can't even make your own bed? My hair is somewhat growing back, thanks KSI, I appreciate that. And I have got my wallet because we're gonna need that for what we're doing today. Now, usually when I'm leaving the house and I'm leaving with my passport, it's because I'm going to a different country, but things are a little bit different in the UK right now. There's no going traveling. So we have to, uh, we have to create our own adventures here. I'm genuinely so excited. Usually people walk into the bank um, giving them money or robbing money. Um, well, I've just been robbed. <laughs> Whew, that was a purchase. What good timing. I've just returned to my car as the ticket people came. Yeah, boy. Yeah, I just have to document just how I'm feeling right now. I'm like, I'm so, so excited. I really am. I'm, I, the first time I bought a property, was this property. It's the first one I bought. It looked nothing like this. If I could put a picture here, this is what it looked like, all right? And now look at it, you know what I mean? Like, took a lot of time, not money, but oh, worth it. I am so excited. I am literally sat in my car waiting because I've got the phone call. I got the text confirming that everything's gone through. Sign completed. It's done. It is my official house, but I can't go in it yet because I don't have the keys. I'm tempted to go and just like, NYPD kick the front door open, um, but then I'd have to replace the door, which I need to do anyway. But I probably should just wait for the keys. This is legitimately my current mood. I'm hanging half out the window. I'm surviving off gingerbread men from the bakery, and I'm just waiting here like this. I've literally just got the call that I can go and collect the keys. It's go time. Oh, and just like that, I've got the key to my new house, and luckily, it's not too far away from mine next door, is it? <laughs> you can't write this. Oh, I've only gone and bought the house next door to my own. This, ladies and gentlemen, is my new home. It smells like gas. Uh-oh, is there a leak? It actually does smell like gas. I nearly burnt my house down yesterday if I rolled the clip. Well, I've had a belter tonight. Um, yeah, only went ahead and uh, left the fire on, but left the remote control on top of the fire. Wow, thank God I noticed that. Yeah, so I'm destined to uh, end up blowing it up. But ladies and gentlemen, my new home. <laughs> okay, so let's get a little bit serious for a second. Eight years ago, you guys know I bought this house. It wasn't actually this house. I bought a like really old rundown house that was here. I dropped it to the ground and built a three-story house. Mind blowing to think that was even possible. More so, at the time I lived in America, and wasn't able to document the entire process of me building, designing, and creating this house, which is now my home. I absolutely love this house and I am not moving out of it. In fact, we are actually just biding the time until we get the extension put onto the front of it that's gonna have a Batman style turntable to park my car in, turn it around and add two extra bedrooms and en suites upstairs. So I'm super stoked for that. But as I was putting in for, you know, the designing and the planning and everything for the extension, an opportunity pre like presented itself to buy the house next door. So if I literally walk around the fence, around the tree line, ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you my brand new home. The house next door. I might actually name it the house next door. I've been keeping this a secret for a couple of like months now. I've been really wanting to tell you guys about it, but you know, I didn't want to jinx anything with the sale going through or anything like that, but I can confirm that I've got the keys and completed on the sale of the house yesterday. I popped a bottle of champagne with my dad if I roll a video clip now. We've only got it done in. Congratulations. What was it? Eight years ago, we were doing this next yeah. door. Now, here we go again. All right. Congratulations. I've just put a hole in my new, in my new roof. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, good sir. We'll be doing more than that. Cheers, lad. Cheers, dad. Congratulations. On to the next adventure, eh? Ugh, sell that. I'm sure people are like, what does it look like inside? Hold your horses, um, you're probably about to fall off your chair. Hey, Dad, I've only got it done it. I've only got it done it. What have you done? What have you done, have you done here? <laughs> Thought next door. Yeah. Ken, give us a turn. Oh, wow. Oh, go on. Oh, he's Unbelievable. Trouble. He's I know. Trouble. But he, 
more the Loud engines on his cars. Mate. Unbelievable. When he finds out you've moved in here, he'll, I know. Be, he'll be moving. This is the staircase we had. Modern this. this. Modern this. Most important room in the house. The shit house. Oh, yes. This is the dining room. Oh, wow. <laughs> I admire the view. Just because it's going to get better. Oh, my gosh. Right. Oh, my gosh. This is what you call a galley kitchen. What does that mean? Small. <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't know what you were going to mean by that. This is the utility room. It's Belfast sink. Original. Complete the legs. Oh, my gosh. Full of taps. About 500 quid, that. Storage room. Give or take a 400. Storage room. Whoa, whoa, get in it for scale. A room for you. Room for activities. And a room for me. <laughs> this is the room with the view. Look at them by full doors. This is the main reception. Keep this. I've still got the original from when we popped the cork at the house. That's the cork. Door. And there's your view, bud. Then you go back through into the stairway. Hello, welcome upstairs. I've, have I not taught you? Better than this. Welcome upstairs. Right. Come in. Oh, look at that. No way. Look at this. Did you spot that? No, I just seen I it I didn't now. spot that. Look at that. Oh, gee, helicopter shot. That's before Google Maps. Look at that. That's not even Google. How old's that? It's the date on the back of it. No. The main bedroom. <laughs> Whoa, hang on. We don't need wardrobe fitters. Oh, We've got fitted we wardrobes. Wow, 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 wow. Look at this. Wow, wow, wow. So we were joined with Kenneth Cassell. Oh. Oh, they've even took the light bulbs. They've even took the light bulbs with them. There's no way. No, they've left one. <laughs> oh, crystal lampshade. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh, Kenneth. That is just absolutely beautiful. I bet you missed the bedroom. Look at this. It looks like you're about to find a secret room. Well, it's not, but it's unfortunate. It's coming off. It's a bit damp. Get... Where's the bathroom? You just broke me house. The bathroom. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Air conditioning. No way. Air conditioning. What year is this from? This is a 1976 oh. version. Oh. Look at the size of that bath. That's Sink. Cool. <laughs> it's big enough to be a bath. It's big enough to be a bath. <laughs> it really is, isn't it? Look at this. Oh. Drying your clothes on. Oh. This is like a museum where you'd go back in time and be like, back in the day, this is what they used to have. Oh, no. Look at this. Towel rail. 1970s towel rail. Cast iron bath, Dad. No, it's not. It's a really is solid it? bath panel. No, it's got... But it's a cast iron bath. Cast iron bath, isn't it? You're right, it's a cast iron bath with a solid bath panel. Unbelievable, right? Wow. Bit of kit. Bit of kit. Yeah. Sledgehammer. That's all you won't get there. <laughs> Another pink room. Here we go. Da -da 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 oh, wow. Whoa. They are not very deep. They are, they are, not, they are not deep at all. Not Time for the final bedroom with the most beautiful carpet in the house. Da -da 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 -da. This is something I like Versace. Look at this. Very similar to when you come in your bedroom. I was going to say, as a kid, but this is not, almost not perfect. Is is the one you've got. It is. I tell you, Summer, yeah, yeah. that is a really good view yeah. out your bedroom window. Yeah. Flipping heck. Yeah, wow. But brilliant. Yeah. Well, you give it out of 10, Dad? Yeah, it's going to get a definite eight. Oh! Eight. Content. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, so after that lovely house tour, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to my new garden. Da -da 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 -da. Look at the size of this thing. Absolutely gigantic. Now, the crazy thing about this land right here is this is how big the garden was on the back of my house next door as well. But as you guys know, I did a drive section. But I love myself a bit of land to play with. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm sure a lot of people tuned into this video being like, he's got like 50 acres of land, he's going to have tractors and motorbikes and Land Rover Defenders everywhere, it's going to be great. I'd love to, I've been hunting for land for literally the past like five years straight, always looking on like right move and websites that sell land just to find the perfect place because if I'm going to start going making, you know, jump tracks and everything everywhere with electric dirt bikes or whatever, I don't want to have like, you know, neighbours on the back of it to disturb them and stuff. I'm trying to be pretty much respectful of everyone around me. But this is the house next door's garden. Look at it. We've got like, these are like some like, I think this is an apple tree or something like that. I wanted to say Andy said this was a pear tree, but I could completely be wrong. I'll have to ask Joe Sugg because Joe Sugg, the, the legend himself, has just also got a new house. So it's like we're starting on two new adventures at the same time. So it'll be interesting to see how like it pans out over time. But 
you might be like asking Tom, this garden's absolutely lovely, but what went wrong here? Well, this is indeed a problem. We have a badger that resides in this garden and it buries its poop for fun like whack-a-mole. So you don't know where you're going to stand and if you stand somewhere, you might be standing in badger poo. That was quite disgusting because there is actually fresh badger poo in that hole. I am really sorry. I, I see him on my CCTV run past. It's like, someone's on your drive and it's just a badger like, I'm fucking going shitting in your garden. So badger poop and all that sort of stuff aside, um, we will be hopefully trying to relocate the badger. And you might be like, Tom, that is bad for nature. Don't you dare kill it or anything. Not intending on doing it. And more so, the badger is like not from round here i know that makes it sound like he's like some criminal badger or something like that but no the garden was like flush green and then the badger was like that looks like a great place to bury my poop um so he's literally shitting on my garden rather than us shitting on his garden by getting rid of him so don't go panicking thinking i'm gonna go beating up no badger right we ain't no badger bashers or whatever that means but anyway tom you're showing us all this but we still not got an answer what are you doing with it so Eight years ago, I was more than blessed to be able to buy a house, do it up and all that sort of good stuff. But I was never there to document it because I was in America. Now, I've got the ability with next door to kind of do whatever I want with, to be able to film the process of it and give a good purpose to the vlogs to have an adventure to follow along with. This is a moment in time right now, just like I was said in the previous time about the houses. We can look at this house right now and go, all right, there it is. But let's see how it develops. Let's see how it moves forward. And let's see in five years time, 10 years time, what it looks like from then. Because what I want to do with this house is I want to overhaul it in a way that complements the road, add value to the road and complements my house next door. More so, I'm going to turn the house, the garden and everything into kind of like one compound. Now you might be like, wait, why? I don't get this, this is confusing. I'm going to be opening up the garden from my garden to this garden into one huge plot of land. I'm not gonna be connecting the houses together, which everyone who knows the house will be like, are you gonna build them together and make one big house? And I can tell you this, from a financial standpoint, it makes no sense. It would be an absolutely massive loss of money compared to the value of the road, which is going up. I'll be able to turn this into its own property, but as a HQ in a sense for myself. So I'll have the house next door, and the, the house n next door to it as, as well. Okay, this, this doesn't make no sense. We need to give them names. So off the rip straight away, I won't be doing any crazy work to this house. I'm focusing on the extension on mine with the garage and blah, 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 the basement. That's what I'll be doing. What I will be doing from the get-go though is connecting the gardens to be one huge plot of land. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this is what's getting me really excited about doing this is because to get you know planning permission and to come up with a design which hopefully with you your guys help i will be able to like plan design on my live streams what i'm going to do with this house it'll take forever it will it'll be fun to do it'll be fun to design what it'll look like the indoors the interiors and more so with it being a hq there'll be a room that'll be like a podcast studio like a podcast room which i've always said i've wanted to have there'll be a room where i'll be able to like you know kit out all with studio cameras and everything and i'll be able to do unboxing so if i ever did a mail time i can literally just like go in there the table's set up the cameras are set up and i've got my own space to work with in my house now i've got this small little office you might be like well that's your fault you should just make more space in the, in the house available for these rooms true but that house is my home like it is my home, I've got my homely things around it and I don't wanna just keep up rooting all that sort of stuff just to film a video. So this is where this house comes into play to be able to have a somewhat studio to be able to do anything I want in, make as much content as I want in and it's all ready, set up to go. Like full live stream day of a day in the life of Tom, big brother style in the house. I could literally just click start streaming from one room, walk around it with a microphone on and I could literally do like a a day in the life of Tom, live, Big Brother style. Probably won't put a camera in the toilet though because no one wants to see me poop, um, it is what it is. But what is a yes from me is the first project that we'll be able to take on with the property. This tree line, as you can see here, is going to be staying in dividing the houses because it gives good privacy between the drive and next door, even though next door is now mine. Okay, just hear me out. Where you can see this tree, which I'll point out in a minute on the other side, I'm gonna be taking up my row of conifers here and repurposing them next door on the bottom edge of the garden to give privacy from me to next door and vice versa. But more so because I don't wanna be like wasting the trees or anything like that. It is difficult to say whether or not we'll actually be able to do it and save them because they are quite big. Like, I'm small by the way, but these are big ass trees. So they're at least, oh God, I don't wanna make myself too sound too small. Listen, I'm like, I'm like five foot seven. 
I'm like five foot, I'm like five foot seven. All right. At least I'm not as small as Captain Sparkles. He's like five foot three. All right. They're pretty big trees, but that means the roots will be quite deep in. If we can salvage them and rescue them, like rescue, they're not bloody children. I take that back. Team trees. I'm sorry. We'll be able to lift them up uh, one by one and replant them along the back edge. And that way I will have like this perfect row of conifers, apart from the one that's dead there, as you can see, looks dead, poor thing, run all the way along and then open this up to be one big garden. Now you might be like, Tom, what's happening with that thing? Oh, that is staying. This thing absolutely bussing, bussing. I, I have got no reason to go like destroying nature. If anything, I've planted, I don't know, this is probably like 200 trees or something like this that I've planted. So I've added a lot to nature moving into this house and I want to continue that. Like you might be wondering, but you got rid of the tree at the front of your house. No, I didn't. It got struck by lightning and, the, and the, literally the tree surgeon came and was like, if you don't take this tree down now, it, mate, if it falls in your house, it'll take out the front side of your house. So I was like, ah, oh, yeah, uh, here's money, take it down. And so he did, because uh, it had a protection order on it. That tree, if I would have even gone, yeah, and attacked the tree, it would have been like a 25 grand fine and literally six months in prison. I, I shit you not. This one doesn't even have a protection order on it, but I just love it. It's go absolutely gorgeous. Oh, the sun's come back out again. Lovely. There's the tree from the other side. This will all open up. The trees will go along the back. I'll put some new conifer trees in along the side of here, and it'll be one flush open garden. And that will be project numero one on the house that I cannot wait to get started with already. Uh, this will take a long time to develop. If you're gonna say to me like, Tom, do you have any ideas or any plans? Yes and no. Again, I'm not rushing it. I'll be sitting down with an architect and you guys and Alex Physics, uh, that's like his Twitch name, by the way, uh, who helped create the, the 3D render for next door, uh, you know, to help me visualize the build. Um, I'll be sitting down and develop everything. All I can say from like a standpoint of like where my head is at after building the first house, I, I can never walk into a property and go, not go like, oh, you could do this or you could do that. So with this straight away from the get-go, I can already see where we'd bring the property out from here to where you can see like this ridge line here, therefore effectively tripling the size of the house from the get-go. Which in itself is a massive, massive project, but it's gonna take a long time to do, you know, structurally and just well, for financially and everything involved. But that's like my idea from the get-go to increase the size of the house, the footprint of it. It gives privacy if I ever, you know, this is why I'm trying to say to you guys like 200 IQ this is if I ever decided, you know, like, oh, I just don't need a HQ next door or whatever. I can go, you know what? I'm going to sell it. I can put the trees back in all the way along. I will have developed next door to go up in value. It'll add value to the road. So the house of my next door and everyone else is on the road increases. It complements it more so like doesn't stick out like a sore thumb, but I'll be able to put the tree line back in, separate them. I've built privacy from this house to that house next door. Cause right now mine, you know, from like my window up there kind of looks into this garden. It's all like legal for you know a building perspective um but it'd be nice to set this house up to have its own privacy and mine to have its own privacy if in the future i decide to go yep done with that sell it on and lo and behold i've created a beautiful house next door that i'm proud to live next door to and built a home for someone else in the future that is if i ever sold it i, I honestly tell you right now i've got no intention of doing that anytime soon because this is a project which is the next chapter of the life of tom so yeah if you guys are ready to join me on a new journey to develop this house into something absolutely awesome then be sure to go ahead click that thumbs up button, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ding dong that notification bell, that way you'll never miss a video when we upload it and we will join together on this next chapter in the life of me. Yeah, it's just absolutely mental, like to be able to put things like this into perspective of where you, you know, begin in life. 17 years old working at McDonald's with a dream to make a YouTube channel. Never did I think I'd ever have the ability to own my own house let alone develop it like i did to now thank you i seriously mean that thank you so much for just joining me on this journey it's been one hell of a roller coaster it really has and do you know who needs to come around and see this my granddad he's not actually seen the house yet he doesn't know about it it's all been kept so secret and it's the last thing he needs to be stressing about whether or not we got the house or not but yeah, we'll have to do a video where I showcase this to my granddad and see what he thinks of it. Give him his own little garden plot here or something like that. It'd be amazing. But yeah, truly, guys, thank you so much. Like, beyond blessed. A lot of people always thought, like, with my gaming channel of what got me started on YouTube, I basically just went, screw the YouTube, I'm leaving forever. But they just never knew. I switched over to vlogging and decided to just start a new chapter in my life and then just missed out on it. But the crazy thing with YouTube is you could literally go back and watch the last four years of my life from stopping gaming to traveling and vlogging all on this channel. 
So who knows as to what's going to unfold with us in the future with this project. You could actually say it's a syndicate project. <laughs> I know I'm so cheesy. It is what it is. But guys, yeah, yeah. Make sure you leave a like, rate, and subscribe, ding on the bell. And I will see you guys in my next vlog where we'll take on whatever adventure, be it be trees, badges or whatnot. It's just going to be another day in the life of Tom. So much love and sadios.